Cause I'm a lazy shit. There's a bunch of businesses going out of business. I shop on Amazon, eBay, and Wish. I don't want to go out because if I did, they're probably out of business. Hey, welcome back to Should I Think About? First off, it's fucked up because Toys R Us is going out of business. And I am someone who grew up as a Toys R Us kid. Now, I don't want to put all the blame on just the internet. I mean, the internet, now you could buy and trade toys and games uh, with anyone and other retailers, like faster retailers. And you could actually find the stuff you want. Now, here's the problem. I don't really like modern toys. I like vintage toys. So, the uh, problem is, like, when I go to the Toys R Us, like end of all hell fucking sell uh there's no new toys that i'm actually into and i get it i get it i'm old as fuck i shouldn't even be playing with fucking toys right but there's a problem here because toys nowadays are uh not backed by saturday morning cartoons because saturday morning cartoons don't exist anymore and that's a part of the problem i mean there's other problems like video games have taken over the shelf space of you know play Back in the 90s, there was a bill that passed that you couldn't advertise directly to kids. And that's what Saturday Morning Cartoons was. It was a 30-minute commercial for toys. And now, that's one of the problems. The other problem being the internet. Then there's a third problem, toy manufacturing. Now, there used to be a whole bunch of different companies trying to, you know, uh, compete with each other. So it used to be, you know, just those Hasbro and Mattel, which are still around. They're like the big two. But back in the day, we used to have Kenner. We used to have Toy Biz. We used to have McFarlane. We used to have Tyco. We used to have Remco. We used to have all these different toy manufacturers making toys. Uh, because And, like, all of them had, like, different features. Like, some of them would have, like, action features that other toys couldn't figure out how to do. You know, like, it was, like, a, a great, like, it was the golden age of action figures for, for people like my age, you know? And I'm, I'm old as fuck. Don't, don't forget about that. Now, my collecting, I basically only collect, like, vintage toys. And I don't really actually collect vintage toys. I come across it and I buy it. But, I mean, I... I, I I want to say, like, vintage toys because, like, the modern toys aren't... Like, there's some modern toys I will buy, but it's because it's, like, aping uh, the retro aesthetic. Now, most of my collection, whether it be, like, the Hasbro Wrestlers or the Superpowers Kenner or even some Motu, like, I don't really care... Like, Masters of the Universe stuff is cool, but, like, it's hard to get a hold of them just because, like, the rubber and their, like, little fucking leg pieces here always fucking fall apart you know I, I don't really collect gi joe's for the same reason that they have like a rubber band in there that like just fucking falls apart now why am i talking about toys why is it i'm talking about shit i think about talking about my toy collection well i'm an old geezer and it sucks that toys r us will no longer be around and that hurts me because like a lot of my childhood was going to Toys R Us, saving my allowance up for this action figure. And that action figure might not be in the store anymore, but then I'll pick out something else instead. Now, I have the problem is that Toys R Us is a huge real retailer that got too big and to a point where uh, the company itself was owned by all these other companies and the revenue stream was paying off bankruptcy debt. And, like, it, it just... <laughs> It's fucked up capitalism. That's what it is. It's fucked up capitalism. Now, I want a toy store to exist for the next generation. But the problem with the next generation is they don't really care about toys. They have apps on their phones. They, they're, they're, they're playing not with toys anymore. And that's perfectly fine. There's a new market called adult collectors. And I guess I'm a part of that. Or old geezer collector. But uh, it sucks that Toys R Us is going to be around. And uh, the, the thing I take away from that is you should vote with your wallet. You know, like use the money that you have, your expendable income, and vote with your wallet. And if, if that means going to an actual store and buying a record as opposed to ordering a record online. Like there's certain little things you can do to keep these stores from closing. Because I grew up in the Tower District where Tower Records was born. 
and it sucks that Tower Records isn't around anymore. There's still record stores, but it sucks that Tower isn't with us anymore. So, vote with your wallet. That is shit I think about. Cause I'm a Toys R Us kid. Yes, the keys, messages.